For the first makeup look, start with a dew base by applying a layer of serum. Apply a layer of foundation. Conceal under the eyes and any blemishes or deep shadows. As always, I recommend applying a dewy concealer on top to make sure that your under eyes don't look dry and cakey. Powder down the face with a tiny amount of loose powder. Use a bronzer to get your natural dimension back to the skin. Use a brown transition shade and use it all over the lid. Apply black eye pencil along the lash line. Take the color all the way into the inner corner and bottom lash line as well, skipping the middle of the lower lash line. Use a cool toned bronze shimmer on the top lids. Apply a champagne shimmer on the bottom lid. And build up a bit more of the brown transition shade on the outer corners. And take the champagne shimmer in the inner corners, taking it up slightly. To make the shimmer color on the inner corners and bottom lash line look smoother, apply a creamy highlighter with a light hand tapping it in. Now onto the star of the makeup look, the blush. The way that it is applied brings a unique quality to this otherwise simple look. Grab a bit of pink blush and apply it on your cheeks in the shape of a circle. This blush look has a little bit of a warm red color at the very top of the cheeks. Take a little bit of it and apply with a light hand. Apply a bit of highlight like so. Line the top lash line with a liquid eyeliner. Keep it as close to the lash line as possible to cover the skin at the base of the eyelashes.
bring it out slightly. Use a small angle brush to smooth out the edge of the eyeliner if needed. Apply mascara. Cut up a lash strip or use individual lashes and apply a couple of pieces at the outer corners of the eyes. I saw my favorite makeup artist apply lash glue to her lid right where you would want to place the lashes. And it worked really well for me, so this is the way I'm going to do it here. Use true red color lip tint and blend it in with your fingers. Fill in the brows. Apply red lip gloss. Now on to the second look. The second look is exactly the same in the base, so I'm going to go through this part a bit quicker. All of the products are the same too, so you can refer to them in the first look. Moisturize, apply foundation, conceal under the eyes and anywhere else you want to. Use a bit more powder than for the first look. Apply a mix of a cool tone and warm tone brown mattes, focusing the application on the outer corners and bringing the color in. Build up the colors to achieve a darker eyeshadow look. I switched up the brush to a fluffy angle brush to place the browns on the lid. Apply a cool toned bronze and gold shimmers all over the lid. Lightly blend the edges. Warm up the black eyeliner on the back of your hand to make sure that it applies evenly right away. Line the lash line all around the eye. Grab a small flat brush and apply a champagne shimmer on the bottom lid. Blend it a little bit with a fluffy brush. Add the light shimmer to the inner corners as well. Blend 
line the eyes with a black liquid liner along the top lash line and take it in along the inner corners. Conceal a bit more with a minimal amount of concealer on a flat brush. Once again, the star of the show is the blush. We're gonna start with the same pink shade at first, focusing on the apples of the cheeks. Apply a bit of powder on top to prepare the cheeks for powder blush. Which is this dual 3CE blush. I'm only using the lavender color. It is going to cool down warmth and look a bit more like Nyon's blush color in Cry For Me performance. Fill in your brows. Try not to over exaggerate the arch of your brows. Use a pink matte lipstick and add a bit of the blush you used on your cheeks on top. For the second look, I recommend applying more lashes and spreading the placement around the entire top lash line. Apply a bit of mascara. Are the two looks that are similar but have a different vibe because of this light changes. Which one do you prefer?